everyone. Today we're gonna work on uh, percentage fraction. So if you don't get it, it's okay. I'm gonna try my best as I can to help you guys. Okay. Salut mes amis. J'espère que vous allez très bien. Pour la bande de connus pour ça, on a dans les autres travail na bisona percentage na fraction. So guys, um, yeah. So so here we gonna write. Uh, Line here, we're gonna write this to the eh? in case you don't see. Uh, I'm just gonna raise them, write it okay. So, okay, so we're gonna write this to the right here. Body times okay. And hundred and the bottom equal. So what are we gonna do here? You see this is zero here. We're gonna cancel it. Here we're gonna cancel this zero here. Huh? You see this is zero here behind this one. We cancel this and we're gonna cancel it. Huh? So what we're gonna do here is three times five equal. Okay, now when we got this, you can put like this and then one on the bottom, and then the answer is gonna be this is the answer. Okay, or if you don't want to do the way I did, okay, we can just write a okay, the times. Bye bye. Okay. Cancel this, we cancel this, cancel this, we cancel this. So three times five equal. Fast way to do it because you, you already know that when you divide this, you're just gonna get this, okay? So that's how we do it. All right. So the next one we're gonna do the, the fraction, okay? So when you take a look here, um, so we're gonna uh, like uh, je transform en fraction decimal. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna write three here, three divide by um by uh, eight. Huh? Okay? Now we cannot divide three by eight. We can't. What do we have to do here? We have to put a zero right here and comma, right? Now we need to find a number that when we multiply that it's gonna give us. So when we put a zero here, make sure you put zero right here. Now we got 30, okay. So since we couldn't uh, divide three, uh, uh, um, eight so we got 30 here because since we put zero here we got 30 here okay now yes we're going to do the division now when we divide it we need to find the number that when we multiply that it's going to be able so in this case if we do two times eight equals 16 right so when we do three times eight okay Three times eight equal twenty-four. We're gonna write twenty-four right here, okay? and minus. So we're gonna have six. Okay? Now we don't have to worry about this six. Okay, automatically we don't care about it. So the right answer here is zero, comma. This is the right answer. Okay, this is the right one. Okay, now we're gonna do this. Okay? This one. So, so this is what we have to do. Okay, now we're gonna do it's similar. So we're gonna write uh, five here. 
divide. Okay, so five divided by eight. Now we cannot do that. We can't. So we're gonna put a zero here and comma, and we're gonna put a zero right here. So we're gonna look the number that when we multiply that, okay, when we multiply that number, it's gonna give us um it's gonna give us uh the number that so yeah, like I said. Yeah, like I said, so you see, like we did uh, the other exercise, it's similar to this. So we need to find the number. Uh, 2 times 8 equals 16. 3 times 8 equals what? So we need to find the number that when we multiply that, we're going to be able to. That number cannot, it cannot be bigger than this, than uh, this one. So that's why it's important to understand uh, the table, uh, the tablet, the multiplication. It's really important. So if we go. For example, let's say um, 5 times 8 equal what? If we go 5, if we go 6, uh, let's say uh, we go, uh, let's say 6 times 8 equal 48, right? Because look, 6 times 8 equal 48. So we're going to write 6 right here. Okay? Now 6 times 8 it's gonna be 48 and uh, it's gonna be 48 minus we're gonna we're gonna have two here so we don't care about this two we don't care this is what we care here okay this is what we need so the answer is gonna be oh here yeah and this one is the answer huh so in case you don't get it it's okay alors so also comprendre et tenir dans 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 quoi expliquer un monde des aralinga la français anglais pour mes athées. Il te donne un message non répondre. Alors tout ça me sous. So now we gonna do this, ok? J'écris en fraction ordinaire, ok? So what we gonna do here now is, you see this two here, so how we gonna do it? Okay, now two divide by two and ten divide two equal two divide by two equal one ten divide by two equal five. Okay. So I'm gonna rewrite it in case you don't get it. Okay. So this how okay. So two five two okay and then Ten by by we got one. Okay, that this is right answer. So now we're gonna do this one. Okay. So for this one, okay, it's just similar to this. So what we're gonna do here is, um. So we're gonna rewrite this like this. Okay. So if we go to divide by two and count use par deux, we're gonna get one on top. Okay. Right answer is five. Okay. So in case you don't get it, I'm gonna
Okay. five. So this is what I have done. This is what I did. Okay. I did this. So two. Okay. Divide. Two. And then one. Five by two. This is how I end up getting it, but because I don't want to provide you guys too much. Some of you may say, then, how, like, where this 10 is coming from? Where this 25, uh, this one is coming from? Eh? This is how you end up getting it. Where is it like a divisor? 50 is how you end up getting it. Where is it like a divisor? If you don't get it, you don't get it. Guys, don't worry. In case you don't get it, I have a, a special course for you guys uh, based on this one, okay? Just, you know, I want to provide you something that is going to stack in your brain instead of you memorizing, okay? So we're going to go step by step, all right? So the video is not that long. I'm going to stop here for today. In case you don't get it, don't worry, email me. And then I'm going to try my best as I can to help you guys, okay? So thank you so much. You guys take care. Bye-bye.